and maybe Tony Polinelli. Yes. Yep. If oh. we can track Tony down, or if his relatives are still around, that's it. Please. Where do you think uh, Tone, Big Tone, might be? He, I think he's in Canberra, and I think he's still alive. Right. I oh, know. Um, and he, fine wingman. Fine wingman. Well, great wingman for the cats in the sixties. Mm. I just grabbed something off the internet here. It said Tony was a reserve in Geelong's not this is Tony Pollan out there, yeah. by the way. And Geelong's nineteen sixty three premiership uh, premiership side so only appeared on the field briefly during the last quarter. It is said that he had a pipe which he would smoke during the half time matches. He was short lifted for the uh, listed for the VFL AFL team of the century but didn't make the final cut. Mm. Well bugger me. Is he he's making that up? Uh, well, yeah. What's that say? That's it. Can well, I just put the emphasis on the it is said? It is. doesn't well, say he did have a pipe. It, is that, it is said. Is so right? they're yes. going on hearsay. Well, there you are. They're acting on hearsay. They said it is said. Well, we need. Oh, it is. Why That's would not they? definitive proof. Well, it is said he oh, used someone to... that was there that witnessed it. Oh, we want well, to. Not some get... foggy hey. old crow like you well, that is just making rubbish. Well, up. well like, someone else made it up like me. We that may achieve said. that now, no, Foss, by getting to this man on the phone. One triple three five three. The great Doug Wade joins us on Triple M Football. Hello, Doug. Welcome, Doug. Boys, how are you going? Hey, Dougie. That is you, Doug. It is, Sam. How are you going? Where are you, do you know? <laughs> I'm laying on the bed at the Sheridan Hotel in Sydney. Looking for work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, we got a fitness conference up here, and this is the only oh, yeah, place right. where we could fit. <laughs> <laughs> now, Doug, I have, uh, I have stated categorically that Tony Polinelli used to smoke a pipe at three-quarter yeah. time during the 60s football games that you and I and he played in. Please confirm that. He would smoke a pipe any pipe any time he had a chance to during the match. At half time he'd sit down and he smoke did? a pipe. He hey. did. Uh, that's uh, thank you, Doug. Uh, the chief is uh, reticent well, to chief, believe I any of this. I begrudgingly accept that Doug may be a credible witness. <laughs> and, and he's still alive. He's living in Surface Paradise. Oh, Surface sure. Paradise is. And yeah. sherry used to be the drink of the day, didn't yes. it, during match days? Yes, it did. Uh, well, I, I never had a drink until I was twenty-seven, and after that, I used to have a sip at three-quarter time. That was for religious reasons. <laughs> Yes, it was. No, I was, I, a, method, I, I was a Methodist. I know. D Gary's well, laughing. Gary. Oh, oh, Doug was a, uh, wasn't a Mormon, but he was <laughs> certainly certainly a religious man, and to his great credit, he didn't drink till he was 27, but by God, did he give it a touch up after <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> especially, at, especially at your wedding. <laughs> well, all of them. <laughs> I, made you, I made you an alcoholic at all my weddings. You started to tipple at the first one, had a few sips on the second one. By the third one, you were actually blind by the time you got there. I can remember being sick in what I thought was a toilet. It was a bidet, and when I turned it on, it went everywhere. <laughs> 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 I tried, I tried, to, I tried to let it go. I turned the thing on and saw. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Look as they've been standing behind a car that was going through boggy ground. Uh, so you're up there. Uh, now, thank you, Doug. Now, that is absolute. And uh, Roy West, the great fullback. Yeah. And I think Paul Viner, the Swede, he used yeah. to smoke. John yeah. Watts. Yeah. Malcolm Blight. Dennis Marshall. Oh. Malcolm Blight used to smoke at, uh, at quarter and half time, three quarter time. He did. No doubt about yeah. it. Hey, Doug, I want to ask you something. Yeah. Uh, we've seen the the Doug Wade stand pulled down yeah. at Geelong, and now you've just got a vacant area where the wind just uh, whips through down there until the new one goes up. Someone told me the new one's not going to be called the Doug Wade stand. Is this true? Uh, that is true, yes. What? Oh. What, what do you the think hell's going that, on Dougie? there, Doug? I don't know. I don't know. I said I don't mind, and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know a team thing. But do you think I, I'm serious about that? Yeah, that's right. Snubbing what else a legend, did you say? Sam. What's going on? I, no, I, I said this, uh, you asked me this the other day. Indian givers can't give no, someone... I agree. A, ...can't give someone a stand and put their name on it and then rip it down and take the name off. I agree with that. And to get to the bottom of that, Doug. We, we might get to the... Yeah, we campaign might... vigorously to have you reinstated. Start a movement, Doug. Hey, yeah, we're going to leave, leave you up there in Sydney, Doug. Good luck. Don't work too hard. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon. It's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Pleasure's been all ours. Doug Wade, well, the great. greats. And we only do this because a man is about to join us on the line. Oh. Unbelievably, for What? Tony Polinelli oh, joins, it. joins us on the line no from Surface Please. Paradise, I am told. Is I'll that, know his voice. Is that you, Tony? Yes, I'm here. 
Uh, you're talking to Sam. You I want you to verify this. that. You, how would you prove that you're Tony Polinelli? I am Sam. Yes, no problem. What number did you wear? Thirty-six. Correct. Uh, well, I'll take it on board that you it's are Tony. Tony. All right, now Tony, it is uh, great to hear you. Uh, what uh, your left footer played? How many games you play? One hundred and thirty-nine. All right, oh, going beautifully go. so far. <laughs> Tony, did you or did you not? This is like tell the truth. <laughs> did you or did you not smoke a pipe at three quarter time and half time in the rooms during games? Uh, not at three quarter time. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Shit, not uh, at three quarter. When? Half time. Oh, half time. Half time, yes. You never no. took a pipe out. No one ever. Pud Richards never bought a pipe out onto the ground at three quarter no, time. No, never. Thank no. you. Oh, there we go. Only, only at half time, quite relaxing. Uh, very relaxing. Uh, Tony, I, I'm half right. I hate to have um, embellished this, the but I. Did you smoke a cigarette at three quarter time? Uh, no. No, nothing out on the ground, I'm sorry to say. He had his limits, Foss. He wouldn't go out on the ground. Like well, that's fantastic. Time. And we used to drink copious amounts of sherry at three-quarter time. Please tell me you drank some sherry, because I even used to. Just a little nip. Just a nip, just a wee dram. On, on the real cold days when it was wet and miserable. Hey, yeah, that was every Saturday. Hey, Tony, Co what, in mud. tell us what it was like to play with the old enforcer. What sort of a teammate was he? He was pretty good. There was no problems with Sam. No, uh, he was okay. Don't give us too much, Tony. And, Tone, um, you played 138 games and kicked 63 goals. You reckon you might have got to 200 had you not had a go at the pipe at half time? Uh, no, that made no difference to me. No, no effect? No, no, in those days we used to not train as much as what they do now, yeah. but... We used to work a lot harder because we had to work. There was yeah. no money in football much in those days. Yeah, t tell me about it. Now, how old are you, Tony? Um, 69. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm 66 and uh, just... Just hang back there, Foss. I oh. think we skipped over you a little bit quickly with Tony. Tony, I'd just like to go back to Sam as a teammate and tell us what sort of a bloke he was. Was he team orientated? Did he do things around the club? Was he a bit of a loner? No. Tell us about his style. Oh. No, Sam was always pretty reliable when everything was needed. Sam was close by and we had some good times together. And socially, did you used to travel in Sam's circle, uh, Tone? No, no. We, everyone had their own groups. Yes, right. we Who were. was in Sam's group? Oh, Shut well, up, Janice well, Marshall. No, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> we went on uh, no, boat that... trips. We went on the Himalaya and the Oronse and the Orsova. You came on a few of those, <laughs> didn't you? Yes, and we went to America in 63. Yeah, I didn't go. There. <laughs> I was at school. <laughs> hey, well, Antone, we find you up on the Gold Coast now, fitting well? Yes, not too bad. Yep. Uh, health, uh, I've had uh, rheumatoid arthritis since 1988, which hasn't helped much. I've been living on cortisone all the time, and I've had my right knee totally replaced twice, and it's come loose again, and I've got to have a third one, but not many people have had three done in the one knee, but uh, the problem is with all the cortisone, and that has weakened the bones, and it's pretty hard for the pins inside the body to... Uh, Hold into place. Apart from that, though, you good. find you in reasonable health, anyhow, Tone. That's yes, other than sound like that. a robot. <laughs> 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 you okay. sound like the six million dollar man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, we thank you very much for calling oh, in. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, Tony. Thank you for that. And thanks very much for having me. Good on you, Tone. And now we should get an apology from Sam. Yeah, no, I too. Misleading people. I, I will. I swear, I have a vision of that man. Smoking a pipe at three quarter time, but I'll take that back. I was half right. This is the Friday Rub brought you to you by the Herald Sun Supercoach. Let the battle for bragging rights begin. Sign up, Sign up now. Sign up now. It's not what. It's got artificial legs and real feet. Sign up now. We've just been tracking down uh, Tony Polinelli, a former teammate of the Fossils. In yeah. fact, I think this is something we might make into a weekly segment. Find, we might find Peter Pianto. If, uh, I've got uh, requests uh, rolling in. If, Go on. Uh, I uh, tell you what, if uh, Tony's listening, I wouldn't. I was him start listening to any serials. I'm not sure how long he's got left. He's got rheumatism arthritis. He's had his knee replaced three times. He's got cortisone. His coccyx is knackered. He's got a <laughs> patches disease, double vision, a bad case of penicillin dandruff, not to mention a logo and a magogo, a rouser-douser, complicated by a slight case of Mississippi and Boffindale and a slip sack, really? <laughs>
That's S A C R O hyphen. From there on, you're on your own. It's just starting to wear out the force. It is. What is going on? Who knows? It's about cooked. Who hey, knows? Um, the Twitter is, is yeah. up and going, and they're loving the work. Uh, Brent Riley from the Adelaide Crows, he's just oh. saying he's loving Foss and uh, the Chieftain going at it head to head. That is James is. Camilleri. He loved the uh, the smoke the pipe story. Thought that was good. Warren Treadway over there Not getting a story. ready to rock. No, but the whole. Story. Well, it was in effect. In effect. Um, also, I've got a request. Ask Sammy about Larry, the Larry Donner, yep. Larry Donahue spray. He copped off Polly while yep. he was on the I, roll. I, I, I can't tell you why because it's. Well, clean it up. Give us the oh, clean well, version. It's not just. This is Larry uh, Donahue, uh, of course, is a 100 goal kicking full forward. Larry uh, Polly was the great, the great, just player I've ever seen, and. Uh, just not as good a coach as he was player. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, that's well, a clip. Well, he wasn't. No, he wasn't because he couldn't believe people weren't as professional and didn't have the same attitude as he. And in the mm. 70s, when I was the captain, we were a very ordinary side. And we had the likes of Ken Newland mm. and Paul Serra and Larry Donahue. Yes. And we were 10 goals down at quarter time against <laughs> a side at Cadinia Park. I'm the captain. And Polly came out and talked about trying to uh, rev up the players. He went round and one by one and he picked out uh, Paul Serra. He said, you're a disgrace. He said, you are a pathetic, stupid little man. He said, to Ken Newland, he said, I don't know what you're doing on the ground. He said, and as for you, Larry, he said, you are as fat as a fool, he said, and you couldn't get a kick if you had a prop up your ass. He <laughs> said, uh, he said, now, uh, and I, I can't tell you actually what he said. Uh, he went round and uh, we all, um, oh, you reckon did, that gave us a lift? Did anyone say anything back? Uh, no one said anything back because it's, a, it's it. like throwing cream puffs at the town hall. <laughs> uh, when you're ten goals down, there's not a hell of a lot of uh, not a hell of a lot you at can quarter say. Time. At quarter time, so you time. got off to a rollicking start. Got up to a rollicker. This is we're all in the rooms beforehand. There's Rex there, and oh yes, <laughs> uh, Rex was the vice captain. Rex mm -hmm. Hunt. Yep. And we're all in there, and all the boys say, "Now come on, let's get out." Yeah. They were breaking down doors yeah. and, ra and we owe this we month. went we were like lions in the rooms and out we went and played like sheep and uh, got a flogging we did uh that was the great 70s but uh, we recovered rodney olsen became the coach in 76 and we played in the finals for the first time in uh, six years and uh, went on from there well, Force, it's been very nice seeing you. You're going to drift off uh, into the night? Yeah, get a I, pipe on the way home, maybe. I'm, I'm, Some Borkham Riff? Yeah, I am. I'm going yeah, to climb into the uh, truck sherry. and uh, crank it up and go home. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to watch the footy, Carlton oh, and uh, Freo? My wordy, wordy, <sighs> chief. Uh, uh, Jimmy, I'm going home to just get the blanket now and uh, going to sit in, on the divan and watch it. Nice. Won't miss it. Beautiful. When's it on? What time? Uh, about 8.45. Oh, 8.45? Mm. I'll put the alarm on. Mate. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.